So six hours ahead of us. So literally when I land, when we landed at six in the morning, um, we were supposed to do this hop on, hop off tour. And baby, let me tell you, I was so tired. I couldn't hop on, hop off nothing. Okay. Well, let me do that little wing. You get my drip. I had to go to sleep. So, <laughs> so I went to sleep and then, but we woke up. We woke up in time. Um, to catch our food tour, guys. So that was so amazing. We rented a car. You don't have to rent a car, but I highly suggest that you rent a, rent a car. Um, they do have something called Flybus, and it literally takes you from the airport to Blue Lagoon if you want to go. So that's really lit to go from the airport out the, um, I think it was about a six hour flight from New York. So to go from, um, oh, sorry, from New Jersey. So to go from like this six hour flight to like the Blue Lagoon, then off to your hotel, like that's really amazing. Um, but we rented a car. Um, the road conditions. So in Texas and Dallas specifically when it snows, you get ice, which is very dangerous. Black ice at that. So you don't even see it. So it gets really dangerous. But in Iceland, it was snow. So we were able to drive just through it. Wasn't too, I don't remember any like slipping and sliding. Um, so we drove from the airport, which is KEF, um, to the city, Reykjavik. Okay, <laughs> I hope, yeah, I'm horrible. Hope I'm saying it right. Um, but yes, to Reykjavik. And so, uh, once we got there again, I went to sleep and then we got up for our food tour, which was at 1130. And it was an amazing food tour. Uh, we went to different restaurants, tried different things. I'm actually not a big person, uh, when it comes to salmon, but the food in Iceland was so good. They had like this charred salmon. Um, they had this Icelandic hot dog where it's actually a lamb dog. So they use lamb. They have all type of different sauces on there. They have fried onions on there. Um, yeah, it was amazing. That was really good. Um, then they had us try like some real Icelandic. <laughs> that's how they kept saying Icelandic, some real Icelandic food. And they said they don't even eat it. They usually do it. Um, during a special time of the year, but they had the fish cod jerky, cod jerky. I didn't try. I couldn't get past the smell. And then they had fermented shark. I touched it. The texture was a little weird. I, I didn't try y'all, but I'm very adventurous. So some of my vlogs, I'm going to talk about, you know, eating and trying some things. You're going to be like, no, I would have did that girl. Um, but yeah, so that was a really fun experience. The dessert, oh my God, the dessert was so good. Everything was just so fresh and so good. So I really enjoyed that food tour. Um, at the end of the video, I will post um, pictures and videos. And eventually, this is my first YouTube video. So eventually I get to the point where I'm actually there and filming. So you guys can see at the same time. Or I just point my finger and bloop, the video I'm talking about pop up. Um so that was that um so that was day one and then we went to the secret lagoon so iceland has a new lagoon it's a secret lagoon and they have a part to where it looks like the um like an infinity pool there's also a bar there and basically what the lagoon is it's a geothermal pool so it's natural and you're there and it's heated okay so getting out is freezing and then you jump in there and then all of a sudden you forgot that it's really cold outside um but it's a complete vibe okay <clears throat> so that was my day one um day two is where i got to wear my ski snowsuit or whatever and when i walked up the guy was like well too bad we're not going skiing but i'm like baby jokes on you because this thing is keeping me warm and i look cute you know so um put on a bunch of gear and we did a glacier hike it was so beautiful like you cannot make this up snow everywhere it was so beautiful um we did the glacier hike like a real glacier hike and then we um went ice climbing so the guy teaches you how to ice climb without you know without your harnessing without your rope first and then you go to the main thing so for that i would recommend um i had heated gloves but they were kind of too big for me to hold the x as i snow climb so i had to take um so i took them off and i used his 
and y'all gonna see me on that video i post baby i was moving okay i was moving the only problem is my foot started slipping one too many times and then i was ready to get down okay but it was an amazing experience i'm so happy that i got to um definitely do something like that so moving on um as a couple we do enjoy dressing up formally so uh we did go to Reykjavik kitchen oh my god yeah i'm telling you, the food in iceland was so good i was not expecting it um and very healthy like very lean after you get done eating you, you're not feeling heavy or sluggish or anything like that so we went to Reykjavik kitchen and when i say customer service was out of this world out of this world so we showed up reservation was for 8 30 we showed up at 8 36 they had we had to sit down in some chairs until they had a table ready i mean the table was ready by 8 40 and they was like oh here go two glasses of red wine we're so sorry that you guys had to wait and i'm like shoot we were six minutes late ourselves and y'all got the chairs ready in five minutes so they gave us some complimentary red wine um we ordered our food i got the lamb ribeye he got the beef tenderloin um we ate our food and then um i love bailey's y'all like i love bailey's so i asked for like a double shot of bailey's even though i feel like bailey's is so cheap just give me the whole bottle but <laughs> like for real come on man but anywho got my double shot of bailey's and then the waiter bought a shot of black death so that's the iceland like you know traditional drink and it's pretty strong and so you know he they cheers and they drunk it together while i drunk my baileys um very very oh then they accidentally gave us an appetizer <laughs> they were supposed to give it to someone else but they end up sitting on our table then of course you know you can't take it back so i was like i love this restaurant but no the food was really out of this world it was so good um so what's next oh so then the third day was snowmobiling so this was a little bit too much for adventure um so i did wear this again but they have something for you because it's we had to drive about two hours to this place so um and that was a little scary because when you start driving outside of the city where where tourists usually don't go baby those signs are written in ice ice what is it icelandic uh language okay mm -mm, mm -mm, i couldn't understand it and then when we finally made it to the place um the tour people had to pick us up and take us like maybe another 40 minutes out to the actual place snow everywhere y'all it was so much snow and the cool thing was there was a sign that you obviously can't read and <laughs> but it said to take your tires out the air out the tires so i thought that was really really cool that the tour guide got out um she took the tire she this lady was driving in this snow like she was like yeah i was born here i know these mountains these are my mountains i'm like girl you are my inspiration because i just could not so she let them air uh, she let the air out the tires so that it bounced better on the snow as we were driving and y'all she was really maneuvering those things like i'm gonna show y'all the picture of the car they had some big old wheels on this van um and she said that um uh, people who have cars in iceland they have a button on their phone where they can just push it and it'll take the air off of their uh they take the air out of their ties for them and then push it again it'll um put the air back when they get on a less snowy road so y'all catch this we are snowmobiling i'm talking about i'm holding on and i hate doing uh stuff like that with people like if i go jet skiing i i want my own jet ski because i trust me right so i was just like oh my god okay okay let's do this together i trust you so we i'm holding on for dear life and everything was going fine so with the snowmobiling tour you get a cave tour okay so we get to the cave tour and all of a sudden the snowmobile store accelerating y'all and the tour guide was like oh no you're going full throttle so y'all we are going fast as heck we almost hit this uh, the other uh people that was it was only four of us so it's like a private tour we almost hit the other people in front of us but like he turned so we missed it and i'm like y'all should have heard me screaming i was like woo, 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 woo. 
And then I started thinking, because, you know, after a while in your head, you got to make an executive decision, right? I'm like, dang, I love my boyfriend, but we're going to have to take a dive. We're going to have to jump off this thing. And I'm glad we did, y'all, because literally, and then he, so they put this thing on you, too, so that it kills the switch. So he driving. He can't stop. I'm like, where the black thing? Grab the black thing. Kill the switch. Kill the switch. So he pull it, and we dive. Girl, I'm glad we had on um, helmets and all this protective gear. Because, honey, we hit that snow hard. It ain't as soft as you think, okay? So, we hit the snow hard. And, I, you know, you okay? You okay? Everybody okay? And then, girl, we stand up. Baby, I tried to take a step. I'm dizzy. I done fell again in the snow. I'm like, baby, at this point, y'all just let me lay there. Y'all save yourself. Just go ahead. Uh, But they didn't let me do that. They got me on up off there. <laughs> and, um... It was crazy. It was crazy because the tour guy was like, oh, my God, I was so scared because literally three meters away was the cliff that we were supposed to be walking down. And so to walk down that cliff and look like, yo, we, I'm not going to say we could have passed away because I believe that I would have survived. They said, he said, he don't think we would survive. I think we would survive because, like I said, them plans started going in my head. I'm like, baby, we was going to come up out that cliff, let that snowmobile do its thing. We just going to land into some snow, you know? Um, But no, for real, for real. It was, it was, I can laugh about it now, but it was, it was scary. It was scary. Um, I don't know what happened. We was driving just fine. I honestly saw him trying to hit the brake. Because I was looking like, where's the brake? Like, I saw him trying to hit it. But I don't know if it's just, like, panic catches it. I don't know what happened. So, I don't know if he was, like, trying to do both at the same time. Honey, whatever he tried to do, it was obviously wrong. Um, because we ended up on the snow. And so, that was terrifying. But luckily, we was at the point we were supposed to stop at. Because then, probably another, about 45 minutes is when we walked down. Uh, I scooted down. Because after a while, that was just... I could. Uh, uh, it was too much because literally, if you don't follow the track that people have paved the way for you, you step off that track, the snow hits you at your knees. I got tired of falling, so I just thought it. Okay, it may be a video of me scooting all the way down. That's like, look, y'all got it all wrong, and then the wind, the hell hitting you in your face. It was a lot going on. Very fun experience, but it was a lot going on. And the only thing the tour guys say is. You guys are getting the real Icelandic experience. I'm like, baby, y'all could have saved some things, okay? So, anywho, finally make it to the cave. Beautiful, beautiful cave. Um, second largest cave in Iceland. It was so beautiful um, to just see these natural things. And that's one thing I love about traveling because you just look around the world. And I swear, I say to myself, how can people not believe in God? Who do y'all think made all of this? Um, but, you know, we all have our own beliefs. But it was amazing. Coming back up was hard. Trying to, again, maneuver and walk in it. I really didn't want to get back on a snowmobile. But, y'all, we were so far out that I just could not be left in this snow. So I was just a praying sister and <laughs> we made it back safely. Um, and I was happy to see the van. I was ready to go. Like I had really had enough by that time. <clears throat> um, so that was amazing. I did forget a day. So one day, um, we did go see the geysers. So basically when, you know, like a volcano, things are hot underneath the earth's surface. And then you have water that gets into it. Then you get this big splash, like, whoosh. so, and it's natural, you know, um, there aren't that many left in the world. So to be able to see that was really, really nice. Um, we, I love waterfalls. So we got to see, um, a waterfall in Iceland. So that was cool too. Um, and then we went to another cave. <laughs> um, so that was cool too. Um, so it's a lot of things to do in Iceland. I'm going to post the description. Um, we did a lot of things with Arctic Adventures. Um, great tour guides. Very, very knowledgeable. Um, safety first. Like no one is left behind on these tours. Um, and the funny thing is, I really like the fact that the um, Icelandic people welcome and sometimes traveling to these countries as a black person you don't always feel welcome you know but i felt very very welcome and the icelandic people they wasn't looking at us funny 
they like, hey, come on in, come eat, come drink. They wasn't looking as funny. It was the to the tourists, like some of the people from the UK and other places, even some people from America, you know, they were the ones like looking at us like, oh, black people, or I don't know what they was thinking. Um, but that was a very interesting experience because I was expecting, well, maybe because reading the, I think they only have a population of like 400,000. So I'm like, do they got black people over there? You know, how do they welcome black people, you know? And I mean, very, very welcoming. It was the tourists that, you know, had a little side eye. Um, oh, and this one lady must, she's like, hey, you were at the, and I'm like, no. And I'm like, but we all laughed about it because I said, girl, don't start that all black people looking like, okay, don't start, honey. You ain't seen me. Trust me, you ain't seen me yesterday, okay? You would have known if you saw me, baby. So, <laughs> um, so that was funny. Um, and then finally, we went to the uh, Blue Lagoon on our last. I'm oh, sorry. On our last day, we went to the Blue Lagoon. So I hate that the sky wasn't um, as pretty with just all of the hailing and the raining and the snow, but we still took some amazing pictures. Um, but the Blue Lagoon was. It's so beautiful. And we had massages. So we got massages. So just imagine being in a pool and getting a massage. But this was a lagoon. And again, they dip you because it does get cold. Because think about it, you're floating. So they have like this mat that you're floating on. And she's like doing your neck. And she's doing your body. And then she'll dip you every now and then. Because I was like, ooh, girl, it's time for a dip. Because it, 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 my top part get a little cold if my, you know, if I'm not fully, uh, fully in the water. Uh, and it was one part. It was so funny. Because I had a different wig on, okay? And, you know, they started doing their neck and stuff. And I'm like, okay, Miss Girl. I know y'all ain't used to, you know, that many wigs out here in Iceland. But you keep sleeping your fingers up too far. My wig going to be floating. And we can't have it, okay? Um, but luckily, no wigs were floating, okay? <laughs> but it was, an ama it was so relaxing. And then after your massage, you get to float however long you want to float. Um, our reservation was from 9 to 2. And then once we finish at the Blue Lagoon, and they have everything, guys. They have steam rooms. They have, I mean, it's a whole experience. Like, it's a whole resort, like a whole spa, like a whole retreat. It's, it's amazing. Um, and then when we finish, we literally drove to the airport, caught our flight. So, um, yeah, so everything was so amazing about Iceland. I hope you guys have enjoyed this travel vlog. Um, again, in the description, I'm going to try to put as much as much in there as possible, like the hotel we stayed at, which was um, through that Iceland Air package that I told you guys about in the beginning, um, which was Reykjavik Iceland Air Marina. Um, we were close to everything. Like we literally, we only needed a car because we were doing some tours and some of those tours came and pick you up, you know? So you really don't need a car, but I just suggest it so that you can... You know, just, just experience, you know, experience, um, what Iceland has to offer. Uh, only disappointment that I had about Iceland was, of course, um, trying to see the Northern Lights. So we did book a tour, um, to see the Northern Lights by boat. They don't guarantee that you will see them. Um, and unfortunately we didn't get to see them. So I decided to do my eyeshadow, which is my palette from divinebeautybar.com. And what I imagine the Northern Lights to look like in Iceland, okay? So thank you so much for tuning in. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button because I have more trips coming up. So have a great day.
Yeah, you can grab the rope. Okay. You can grab the rope, don't worry. Okay. But the ice axe you can take in one hand because in that way you, you can cut with a with a ground on the leash of the ice. Okay, what do I need to do? Take the ice axe. Then do what? Yeah, there. One in one hand. In the same hand you take the other. You're safe, you're safe. Yeah, you're good. Look at me. You're, you're safe. Good. Now move your left boot down. You're getting low. Woo! I have you here. Oh, okay, I feel better. Okay. Lead <laughs> him, him back and extend your leg. Woo! You need to stand up. Oh. I, need, I give you a little bit of rope. Ah, oh, this is perfect. Stay there. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Extend your I'm leg. I'm No, extend. <laughs> Walk backwards. Oh, take your time. Look at me. Now you walk backwards. Okay. okay. I give you rope and you walk. Okay. Okay. Don't worry for the ice axe. Oh. Thank you. 